So y'all probably y'all probably can't y'all probably can't see this, right? Obviously you see Luna. And I don't I don't know if I can make this thing reach without breaking it. But I oh actually you know what? I think I can. I think I can. Check this thing out, right? So this is a stream deck. Happy Irishman had gotten this for me several months ago. If you don't know what a stream deck is, a stream deck allows you to basically change scenes from just hitting these buttons, right? So by hitting these buttons, I can do this, I can do that, all that kind of good stuff. But check this out. This one's very, very unique in the sense where it has these like level knobs. I don't, you can kind of probably see that. These like knobs that you could twist and you can set them to basically whatever you want. So literally from over here, this is a really cool part. Not only can I turn my lights on and off, but by spinning this knob, take a look at the lighting on my face. I can spin it lower or higher depending on what, you know, how much light I need, which is really great because I stream with an open window for a lot of natural lighting now. And as the sun is changing and as my light is changing, all I got to do is just spin the knob more or less. So it's pretty crazy, man. This, this thing's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> This thing is pretty cool. I'm still locking in like the exact lighting that I want to use. And I'm actually not even fully sure what I want. But what I do know is that all of you really, really just came to see Luna. I mean, that's just really, that's just really the truth, isn't it, Luna? They're really just here for you. They ain't here for me. They're just here for you. <laughs> Yo, Epic Chris, your son turned 21 today. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, send your uh, send your son some love from Unity Gaming, will you? Will you do it? Come on now. Boz, working XP groups. Boz, I need to respond to your text. The answer is yes, I will do one. I just got to figure out. I want to do a WoW one, and I got to figure out when I want to do it. I, you know, I might have some variables changing soon, and so I, uh, I want to make sure that I, I pick a good time. Boz, when do you need, like, so here's my official yes. When do you need... Uh, all of my details. When do you need all of my like? When I'm doing it, what it's gonna be called? Like, when when do you, when do you need that? Friday, if possible. Hmm. Friday, if possible. Yeah, I mean, if that's a deadline, that's a deadline. I have to make it work. I'm just gonna have to make it work. Just gonna have to make it work. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go, baby. I'm ready to rock and roll, dude. I'm gonna have to make it happen, guys. It's official. I'm leading the small group next. Dang it, I forgot. This thing has a super, this is what I don't like touch buttons for, okay? See, the mute button on this soundboard I got over here, it's not a button. It's just like a you like you like touch near it and it mutes. I might I might I might tape over it. But I see I want to be able to use it, but I don't want to accidentally hit it like I did right there. Feels bad. And I don't even know when the last thing you guys heard me say was. But I was in the middle of reading Kissy's comment. She said, Susie, you pillar of perpetual positivity. Hope your stream and your day are filled with a truckload of awesomeness. Now, here's the deal. You can't be around me for too long and not start using alliterations. I mean, it's just a matter of time, okay? It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Kissy, and the fact that you've already caught on that, uh, uh, what you call it, alliterations are, they are my love language. They are indeed my love language. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. That's why my wife calls me Sexy Susie. She doesn't. I wish she would, though. But she does not. <laughs> Tired hour, top of the morning, friend. Hopefully you're amazing. Come on, now. Good morning, Luna. Luna looks very comfortable. Come on, now. Oh, I can send it. Clip it and ship it. This is, yeah, I don't actually communicate with my wife. I just say things on stream in hopes that people will clip it and send it to my wife. Yeah, instead of telling your spouse how you actually feel, that's what you should do instead. These are these are the worst marital advice you've ever gotten. Is that a wild ska man on TikTok? What's up, brother? 
Good to see you, man. How you doing, bro? <laughs> Hashtag marriage facts. By the way, everyone say hello to Luna. Luna is just chillaxing, enjoying just her absolute best life. I mean, just look, Luna, will you, will you, will you open your eyes and, and say hi? She's not actually sleeping. She's just laying here. She is laying here. And guys, she she is she's been really good. We have I have been trying to uh like train her to learn the new property that we're on and where she can go and where she can't go. So we have what's called a run for her. So it's like a you know a super super long leash tied to a tree that only lets her go like a certain distance. Uh, but we don't like her using that because it's it's super restrictive and she has way more space that she can go. But just the way the run is like set up that if she were to go, because like it's hard to explain, but the way my backyard is, it's like half backyard and then half like side yard. So if she were to try to go her full distance this way, she would get it caught on a tree. And then if she tried to go further back, then she would actually be in someone else's property. But so like the run is not a great solution. And so I'm trying to train her to just know where she can and cannot go. And I, I do it at night while there's no people out, no one, no one's on the street. And uh, and I take her out without the leash. Come on now, without the leash. And I I walk her around, and uh, and she's been so good. She like she's been staying with me. She's not running off and being crazy. And uh, yeah, she loves it. She loves it. I let her run around a little bit, but she's been so good. She's been staying where she's supposed to stay. And absolutely. Come on now. Do you use the harness for her instead of her collar when she's on the run? So she doesn't on the run. It's called a run, but she doesn't do any running on the run. She doesn't. The run isn't long enough for her to do any running. She just basically goes out, pees, comes back. We take her for a daily walk, and then at night, I take her out and let her actually run around without any leash uh, or, or any run. But actually, I would call it, what we started doing recently was we actually got what's called a, uh, it's called the gentle lead. And it's actually, it, it's, it's not a collar, but it's also not a harness. We do have a harness for her, but it's, it's old and we need to get a new one. But it's like this, this thing that goes around their mouth. It's just a small little strand around their mouth that attaches also to the back of their neck. So it's not a muzzle. They can open their mouth. They can eat. They can do everything. But it's just around their nose. And so if they try to get ahead of you and, like, you know, pull you, what happens is the way it's designed is if they try to get ahead of you, it just turns their head back towards you gently. Just a gentle just tug back to you and it's annoying for them and very quickly she caught on she's like oh okay well i i gotta stop trying to get ahead otherwise this thing is gonna keep doing this to me so i might as well just walk right next to my owner and so she just walks next to us now it's the best it is the best takes two seconds to put it on it is we stinking love it would highly recommend Highly recommend people that, that have dogs use a, a gentle lead. Scott, can I say that I'm shocked you haven't jumped into Hell Divers? So I, I have Hell Divers. I played it with a few buddies of mine. I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. I like it. There's just too many other games that I, I love more. Right now we're Lulecraft being my number one. Then of course we've got the uh, we've got Overwatch and we've got Smite. And even that right there, dude. I that's too, I can't even keep up with those three games. And then World of Warcraft has like six different game modes. I just, it's just too many good games out there, man. I would love to be able to play them all, but there's just, there's just too many. <laughs> it's, it's just too many, man. Too many good games. And I, I try to be very intentional to keep the content as, you know, War of the Warcraft as the focus with a little bit of, you know, maybe variety here and there. But even that, I don't want to go, uh, I don't go too far. I worked really hard to actually find a niche. I don't plan on breaking it now. What I don't mind doing quite a bit of that is not World of Warcraft related is anything that is like relevant to like me. So like just chatting, moments like right now, IRL life updates, things about me. Because people that follow me, they also enjoy me, hopefully anyway. So then those things are also content that people actually wanna, wanna be a part of that they enjoy. But just pulling out random games just because I think they're fun 
are not really a, a great way for the uh, for the content. Yo, Kissy, when we had uh, Reese, our chocolate lab, I wish I'd have got one of those. He was a puller for sure. Yeah, Luna wasn't like really bad, but she pulled for sure. She would like she, Great Danes are stubborn. They're amazing dogs, but they they're they're one big flaw is they can be stubborn. Even if you train them, they can be they just they're just stubborn by nature. And so she would pull, not horribly, but but enough to where it's like we really gotta we, we gotta help this be better. The gentle lead solved it in two seconds. Two seconds. K finally joining the Unity Gaming Guild. Come on, just for that, you get a special Luna sighting. Just for joining the Unity Gaming Guild. For everyone that joins, you get a free Luna sighting right here. Look at her, she's just relaxing, enjoying life, living it up. Come on, come on, come on now. Come on, come on, come on now. <laughs> okay, so glad to have you in the guild. Obviously, you've been part of the community, but now you're in the guild. Love it, love it, love it. What up, J Papa? It's good to see you, baby. How you doing, man? Uh, Jay Litter, did you download the Once Human Launcher? Absolutely. And I will be there at 10 p.m. tonight, spamming the Get In button with Bandificor, I think. I think he's going to join me so that we can uh, try to get in. But I'll be honest, I won't really be covering any of the content uh, tonight. I will make sure that I get into the game to reserve my spot. And then I will make sure uh, that in tomorrow's entire stream is going to be one soon. Oh, Amarasu, there's time walking tonight. Oh, your boy's going to be there. Oh, your boy is going to be there. Guys, official announcement. I will be at Chaos Raid tonight. If you want to come hang out, going to be amazing. Normal raid. Bring your alt. Bring your main. Bring your face. Bring your mother. It's going to be a good night, friends. But I won't be able to stay the whole time. I can only stay until 10, and then I'm transitioning into the once human make sure I get in thing. But I'm going to be, I'm going to be hanging out. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, Ox, the beta is 42 days long. Sheesh. That is wild. That is wild. Man, if we go, Rottweilers are stupid. <laughs> we had to get... Uh, we had to get him one so he could walk without pulling us over. Yeah, big facts. Big facts. Yo, is that a Lieutenant Dan coming on in? What's up, my friend? Lieutenant Dan, I feel like it's been a while, homie. How's everything going? Oh, we're getting some love. That must be on YouTube. Yeah, I appreciate y'all friends. We're live everywhere right now. YouTube long form, YouTube shorts. We're live on Kick. We're live on YouTube. Guys, do me a favor. Put a heart in the chat across all the platforms right now. You guys should be able to see them on the screen. Say hello to one another. Y'all are beautiful. I appreciate you. Kissy, I want to say thank you to everyone for the prayers of positivity uh, and positive energy sent yesterday. The storm was predicted to hit this area pretty hard, but completely missed us. That's amazing. We had five total thunderstorms that were, that were far away and about five minutes of rain and two tiny wind gusts. And I have zero cleanup today. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. That is incredible. That is in... Incredible. Thank God. That's amazing. Oh, Omen. Oh, Omen, the OG. Omen, God bless you. Omen, it's all, ah, oh, it's just so good. So good to see you. Hope you and the kids are doing well. God bless you. Appreciate you popping in. Low voltage. What up? What up? Is that is that a wild vendetta coming on in? Oh, what's up, baby? How you doing, man? Good to see you, my man, Asmo. Let's go. Let's go. You legend, bro. You legend. So they extended the once human beta to being 42 days so i will be honest i'll probably only be investing time into it for a few days and then i'll be getting right back in a season of discovery or the warcraft content i'm not going to allocate 42 days of content to uh to once human beta i'll catch the hype i really am interested in playing it maybe i'll play a little bit on my free time um unless it uh, freaking pops off for the stream then you know then i'll you know i'll pivot my plans and go from there but yeah 42 day beta I, I unless it does so exponentially well the tiktoks are popping off i, I can't see myself allocating uh 42 days i can't but if it pops off i totally will totally totally will come on now hunter fan mom you had this song in your head this morning when i woke up and i have no idea why uh so this song is i can't even see from here my oh misery business paramore hey what up josh simmons welcome on the good old tiktok hope you're doing well 
Let's go, let's go. Yo, Paramore's, Paramore's S tier. I mean, that's just the only way to go around it. That is the only way to go around it. Yo, Asma, we doing some leveling today? I saw you say something about the level 800, bro. We might have to get some games in, friend. Games in. All right, friends. I want to get some quick feedback from you. And then we're going to dive into some Season of Discovery. Magnificor, I think, is on standby. Ready to uh, get the game open. Actually, you know what? While we're sitting here, let me actually just go ahead and make sure that World of Warcraft is open. This is Wrath of Lich King. But let me make sure uh, World of Warcraft Classic. Perfect. Yo, my mouse is being weird. And it's fully charged. I think it's just too far from the receiver. That actually literally might be what it is. The mouse might be too far from the receiver. Because this is... it's act, It acts very strange. It's weird. Let me get that bad boy open. All right, here's the feedback, friends. Here is the feedback. Some of you guys know that I, obviously, throughout the week, do a lot of content, record a lot of content, make a lot of content. And... I am actually going to be launching a second YouTube channel for all things Suzy related. So basically, you guys know that I have, well, I mean, really I have three major forms of content. Right now, I don't make too many videos about them. That's a project that might be happening in the future. I'll keep you guys an update if any of that changes. But really, my three fit forms of content that, that I really do are World of Warcraft. Then there is basically anything Susie related so like me just more directed towards me not even they're not about wow that could be me my life updates stories that i'm telling reacting to videos giving my thoughts on something that is not wow related basically people like hey i follow this channel because i just I, i'm interested in what Susie has to say i just i'm interested in hearing Susie's life updates like i just i like following Susie. some people like both those concepts some people like one or the other and then the third one will obviously be my my faith-based content, who right now I'm not putting out too much, like, specific, like, hey, today we're going to sit down and talk about this. It's just kind of me being lived out through my everyday content. So there's tons and tons of faith conversations happening, but it's different than, like, hey, I, I wrote a sermon, or, hey, today we're going to talk about this gaming thing from a faith perspective. Not currently doing that right now. Could be a plan for the future. But... My, I want to break down into two YouTube channels. Basically, one will be World of Warcraft, and one will be all things Susie focused Again, that could be my life updates, for example. I'm literally getting ready to upload my videos from, like, my moving process and all those crazy stories. Maybe you watch them on stream, but I'm like, these won't fit on a World of Warcraft channel. They got to be separate. Now, here's my question. <clears throat> Let me give you some context, and then I'd like to get your feedback. I sent this out to the Patreon subs this morning. I put it in the Patreon uh, Discord. All that good stuff. Let me, let me uh, give some context. <clears throat> so I currently have a YouTube channel that I've had for almost 10 years. I've got over 5,000 subscribers. Okay. Now that channel, over the years, before I really settled on a World of Warcraft niche, there is every kind of video you can imagine. That might not be fully true. On that channel. I've done tech reviews. I've done sermons. I've done Fortnite videos. I've done, I mean, a million different things. What up, Luna? Good to see you, friend. I've done a million different things. And then, obviously, as of recent, I've been consistently putting out World of Warcraft content. Now, here's kind of where I'm thinking. And I would love to get your thoughts and your feedback. Basically, with me launching another YouTube channel to post either World of Warcraft content or just all my Susie related content. I'm thinking about keeping my current YouTube channel that has the 5,000 subs and has had, you know, people subbing over 10 years for a variety of reasons. I'm thinking about keeping that current channel as my Susie channel, okay? For, and, and I do them on stream all the time. Reactions to videos, life updates, sharing thoughts just anything that is like i follow this channel because i i like Susie. i want to hear what he has to say i want to hear about his life i want to hear his updates i want to see what's going like i just i want to follow Susie. i want to follow Susie. i like hearing his thoughts on stuff then obviously the other channel is all wow stuff the reason i'm thinking about i'm thinking about keeping my normal channel like the one i have right now the Susie related channel even though for the past like eight months i've been consistently uploading like only basically world of warcraft videos so you might think like 
well, Susie, why don't you make that your WoW channel? Because you've had, you know, over the past like eight months, people have subscribed for World of Warcraft content, which is true. And that I think it's a valid point as well. But the reason I'm thinking about making this one the the Susie content is because over five years, for all the different reasons that people have subscribed, the only reason that all of those have in common is me, right? Like I'm the common denominator, whether people subbed because I did a tech review, I made a, uh, a Fortnite video, I made a faith-based video, I made a WoW video. So I'm like the only common denominator across all of these topics uh, really is me. Like I, I'm the kind of the common denominator. And then I would think about making the new channel, like here's all the wow things. My wow guides, my wow tips and tricks, my wow, like just everything there. Because if I try to keep, if I try to keep my my current channel and, and completely make that all World of Warcraft stuff, then all the people that have subscribed for the past nine and a half years, those people are like, I don't, I don't care about WoW. I just wanted to follow Susie. So I'd like to get your feedback. Do you guys think that I should take my current channel and keep it all things WoW and then make a brand new channel for all things just Susie, personal updates, reaction videos, that kind of stuff, or keep my current channel all things Susie and then just make a wow youtube channel wow youtube channel i do think they need to be separate for the algorithm they serve two different audiences i am very aware that there are people that follow my wow content who are like susie i, I really don't care about how you move went dude just give me the wow tips that's very valid very i do that when ninja's like hey bro here's my love update i'm like ninja man i hope the best for you bro but i don't i don't care about your 27 minute life update teach me how to play fortnite it's totally fine, right? Totally fine. Totally fine. Come on now. Totally fine. Which one will you post more in? So, Trenador, honestly, I think I think there'll be a pretty even flow of both, man, because over the past more so like two months, bro, I've just been pumping out so much content off the cuff that's not about WoW that I'm not doing anything with because it, it just doesn't fit on, like if my current channel stays a wild channel, I just haven't been posting it because I'm like, this doesn't fit on this channel. So I've been doing nothing with it. And honestly, it's it's stuff that I'm really not even like planning for. It's like people post things in the react channel, random conversations happen. And as soon as I see the opportunity, I'm like, yo, this could make a good video. I hit record and I go on this, you know, I just boom, video time. But then I'm like, I'm not even going to post this because it doesn't make sense on the WoW channel. So I, I have so many of those videos just sitting in my drive that I'm like, dude, I didn't even try to make these videos. They just kind of naturally came up. And so, and that's going to keep on happening. Because now that I've like, I've learned more about like how to just basically turn anything into a piece of content, it's happening on the regular, just off the cuff but I'm not doing anything with it because it doesn't fit on like a wow channel. The wow videos, those I like, you know, I think through, come up with the idea and what you call it. And, um, you know, I, I like plan out like the hero talents one that we're, we're, we're putting out right now, Trend. So honestly, they're probably a, probably a similar amount on both. Probably a similar amount on both. Absolutely. Let me read some of these ideas. Keep Susie live, all things Susie and make uh, the new one that is Unity Gaming for all things WoW. So the difficult part about that too though is this is the difficulty of like trying to lead a brand but then also having your own brand is that like those YouTube channels, let me see how, see how I always playing this. People don't normally follow brands, they follow a face, right? Like for example, when most people you probably don't follow a lot of like businesses you probably don't follow a lot of like organizations you probably don't follow a lot of like brands but you do probably follow a lot of like people individuals you attach to a personality or to a face to a person and so the hard part about like brand related content is when it 
when it is actually a brand, like a community or a team, you don't want the focus to be one person because that's not really great for a brand. It's got to be about the whole movement. But then what happens is if you have like a face type person that's consistently posting on there, then people, they're really just following the individual. They're not kind of not following like the whole brand thing. So if we had a YouTube Unity gaming channel, I would really like the focus of that to be like Unity gaming, community stuff. I, I don't really want it to feel like Susie has another YouTube channel because then it's just, it's, I'm gonna be such the focus of it that it's, it's really not gonna feel like a Unity thing. It's just gonna feel like a Susie thing. It's just called Unity Gaming. And so that's like, that's not necessarily the direction I would want to take for that channel. And then the hard part about that channel is just the, the actual upkeep and the content creation. And then me having to pick between like, do I, do I build like community brand or do I build like personal brand that helps support me like and my family? That's the hard part of where I'm currently at in my career. I'm still a small content creator. So like, I'm still at the point where like stretching too much of my, my content, if it doesn't come back and necessarily just like directly support me, it makes it really hard for me to make a living if I'm putting attention towards like videos and all this stuff that is building something that like I can't, I can't be supported by. So like, it's, it's a very, it's a very unique situation. So like, I love Unity Gaming. We're going to keep on building it. But right now, like the Unity Gaming YouTube channel, it just, it can't be the top of my personal priority list because I'd have to sacrifice the things that I need to do to like make a living. Cause I just, it's just so much to get done. You just can't, you can't, you can't do it all. You know what I mean? You just can't do it all. Eventually, I would love to get a lot of people to help with, you know, a U Unity gaming channel. and But it's it's a whole project. Editing and thumbnails, creative ideas, understanding social media, understanding hashtags. And it's, uh, it's a lot. It is, it is a lot. Just make 100 YouTube channels, one for each game. YouTube partner them all, then sell them off for profit. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude I, I'll get right on that, bro. I'll get right on that, bro. LOL, dude. Trinidor, did you get a significant amount of new subscribers in the past year? If so, I'd keep your channel for a while since that was the majority of your video content the past year. Yeah, but the people that have subscribed over the past year, my thought is if those people are still actively following my content, it would be, it'd be significantly easier for me to get a small percentage of people to then transfer over to the new the new YouTube channel. Uh, and it would be super easy to get that video subs because of the searchability. The searchability of the, uh, the videos. My wild videos do really well because I just make them titles that people people look up and that's why they get they get way more views than most of my other videos. Other videos. By honest, uh, even want to post a YouTube short for it and, and post people in the comments. That's a good point too. Yeah, I posted to the Patreon subscribers. I posted in the Discord, my Susie Discord, and then asking now on stream. But honestly, I hadn't even considered. Um, I haven't even considered the uh, what you call it, posting it on either a YouTube short or honestly, yeah, the community tab. I gotta use that more. I gotta use that more. I'm not 100% decided, but Trent, I am leaning. I am leaning more towards keeping my current channel, the Suzy channel, because that is the common denominator across all 5,000 subscribers. The newer subscribers are people that are still actively, like, really engaged with me and my channel. But I do think it'd be easier to get them to transfer over. I do think it'd be easier. Okay, so we've talked about making a Unity Gaming channel for all the stream team and mentors to post, but you could also post your WoW stuff in. I mean, you are the face of Unity Gaming, so it makes sense that the majority of the posts there would be from you, but it would be a little more collaborative and way less uh, way less work overall for you. If you have two channels and then add a Unity channel, that's way more and spreads content thin. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, Mama, we, we have not announced a Unity Gaming YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the hard part. Like when it comes to community, I make Unity Gaming a major focus. But when it comes to content, 
if I if I'm not posting on a direct Susie YouTube channel, and, and please hear me when I say this, I don't get as much direct benefit, and I'm I'm just not at a place in my career where I can afford where I can afford to not. It's gonna. It, I, I don't take it the wrong way. I can't afford to not make myself and my own brand and my own finances a major focus because I I'm, I'm just I'm at such a barely making it that like if I if I take any attention off myself then I I start going from barely making it to like might not make it anymore that's why like normally people build brands once they're already huge then that's honestly my advice for most people don't try to build another brand until you're already huge so that you're not spreading yourself too thin but like for example right Nade Shot built 100 Thieves when he was already rich and famous. Because he's like, dude, if I lose a little bit of money here, I, got, I already got, I already got, I already got plenty. My, and my brand is already built and so successful that now at this point, like you can do whatever you want. So that's like the, that's the hard part. For any, any YouTube videos or any, anything that I would do to help on like a, like a separate channel that isn't directly like related to me is a, is a tension put elsewhere that I want to be able to do eventually and that doesn't mean we can't have a unity ga unity gaming channel but it probably wouldn't be where I would post like my wow content because right now my wow content exists to bring people into my live stream a unity gaming channel I want more like to bring people into the unity gaming community now obviously there's crossover between the two for sure but the purpose of my YouTube channel is to grow my live stream so that I can I can make a living, right? Like so that that's like that's the main the main the main purpose of it. That's just the way like that at this point it just it's got to be. So I, I wouldn't be able to allocate more time towards building towards building that, which is which is a tough part. Tough part. Absolutely. So for sure, I do think splitting your channel into into two could lead to diminished returns. We follow you for you, no matter what the content. So you, as a as a wow as a wow player, as a wow player, for all the other, you know, I've got how many twenty three point three k followers on Twitch. A lot of those people, a lot of those people are uh, they're not World of Warcraft players, so their interests are not the same. So that, that's why content and algorithms um, don't work out. I can lady, I'm not a wild player. I just don't watch those videos. Absolutely. And every time, this perfect example. So I can lady is a perfect example. And every time that I can lady scrolls past my wow video as one of my subscribers, YouTube punishes me for that. Because what that tells YouTube is Susie is putting out videos his audience is not interested in. And, that, and, and that's how YouTubers get punished. So that's the purpose of splitting them. So that now when I when I do put out a Suzy video, Ike and Lady is like, oh, gotta watch this. And then YouTube rewards me for that. And then on the other channel, my WoW viewers are like, oh, WoW video, gotta watch this. And then YouTube rewards me for that rather than getting punished. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it has to... Uh, it has to, they have to be split. They have to be split. Absolutely. Let's go. Doc Taco, that's kind of garbage because sometimes I'm just scrolling past to see what new videos are out. So I know what I'm going to watch later. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and we all do it. I scroll by videos all the time. But the way that the, the way that the YouTube algorithm works is if you saw the thumbnail and the title but you didn't click it wasn't good enough to grab your attention and so youtube deems that as this video just wasn't interesting enough and if it's in a, if enough people scroll by so basically enough people tell youtube this video wasn't good enough for me to scroll by for, sorry for me to click on then youtube will stop recommending people to watch that video because youtube now believes this video is no good that's the way the algorithm works. Absolutely. 
Hunter fam, this is why I only get on YouTube to search for what I'm uh, after instead of scrolling through it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely, that helps. Absolutely, that helps. Come on. Uh, I won't be talking any any uh, any channel names because if I do that, uh, you know, they can be taken. <laughs> end of the day, people, uh, people go. Let me see. End of the day, people where go to the channel. <laughs> Trying to know. End of the day, people where go to the channel that has the content they want. Probably will be okay either way when you split it. As long as you are posing consistently. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> One-handed typing. Come on now. One-handed typing. Let's go. And then my hope is by keeping it on the current channel. Keep it on the current channel. That uh, all the other people that have been following me for years. But maybe have like kind of disconnected since I started posting the WoW videos. They'll they'll re-engage. They'll re-engage and be like, oh, okay, Susie's posting this content about him. And honestly, it's just it's just stuff that is just happening naturally. And a lot of it honestly comes from you guys posting in the React channel. The React channel just gives me free video ideas. Literally. About anything. Now a lot of those are wow stuff, and then I ended up posting those in my wow channel. You guys help me a ton, I'll be honest. The questions you guys ask in chat. Spe like they just they spawn video ideas that happen in the moment a lot of it's just off the cuff some of it i do deliberately plan but a lot of it is just literally off the cuff spurred on from a a, a conversation a comment you guys put in the react channel whatever it might be it is legit berserka i'll support you at the end of the day boss man i appreciate you bro s tier what an absolute legend. Yo, user on TikTok, welcome. Susie, you're amazing. I love your stream. Keep going. Thank you for all that you do. You are an incredible human. I appreciate you, friend. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on now. Moon Tears, are you bringing this up now, right when season four is about to happen? Since as a content creator, there really isn't any new content to make videos on for a while? Um, no, not necessarily. It, 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 it's been spurred on because I have so many videos sitting on my computer that are just about me whether it's my life updates moving updates random reactions that i did me sharing my thoughts on you know a game that came out whatever that are just sitting in a library that i'm like right now if my channel is all about wow these videos don't they don't make sense here so i'm like i got all these videos that i'll be honest like took zero extra effort to do because someone like asked a question in chat and then because I've been doing this for so long, when someone asks that question or brings up a topic, instantly my mind goes, boom. Here's a hook I could, I could say right now and here's how I could turn this into a YouTube video. Hit record, boom, and I just go for it. And then now that could be a video, it's just gotta get edited, thumbnailed, titled, all that kind of stuff and then stuff on YouTube. So that's why I'm like, I have this like library of videos that are just sitting and doing they're like nothing's happening with them and these are just going to continue to happen so i'm like i gotta do something with these videos and uh and people have been asking for them too like susie what's the uh you know give me the moving update or, or what was this there's just so much for example the corsair you know why i'm no longer sponsored by corsair you know like that's people gonna click on that dude <laughs> but like that doesn't work on a wow youtube channel you know what I mean? Doesn't work on a, uh, a WoW channel. Yo, what up, Very Sticky? Good to see you, friend. Let's, let's go. But yeah, in, uh, in Season 4, Moon, my, uh, my hope is there'll be some content. There won't be, I think, as much as the, the, the previous ones. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I'm hoping that there'll be some content, but there won't be, uh, there won't be very, very much. Deglazed, I'm waiting for those Blackstone cooking videos. For example, like that could go on the channel. If literally I live stream myself, like cooking, making breakfast on a Blackstone, but it was just like a fun live stream experience. But while I'm doing it and talking to chat, I'm also explaining what I'm doing, 
sharing any tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, then boom, you literally just slap that up on YouTube, 10 minute cooking session and title it how to make breakfast on a Blackstone. And then, you know, for example, it's like, it's like the Asmund Gold steak video. It's just a completely random thing, but it's on the, you know, the Asmund Gold, like, personality channel. Let's go. Berserker, with PvP being competitive, would that be something good for content creator to stream in Season 4? I may do some PvP in Season 4, because there's not really going to be a lot of new content to do. There's no new raids. There's no new dungeons. So that's why I'm exploring Season of Discovery. I really hope Plunderstorm will either stick around for quite a while or come back as like a like a final version. I might try some uh, uh, what you call it some PvP, but yeah, as a content creator, season four is going to be rough for WoW content creators. Absolutely, absolutely, that will be that will be tough. That will absolutely be tough. Susie, but here's the big question. With splitting the YouTube, where would you go live stream? That's honestly, that's a good question I'm thinking through, too. That is a good question I'm thinking through, too. What I do were the Warcraft streams on the, like, the WoW gaming channel. That's a good question. That's a good question. Now I got to think some through. Come on, now. Pelleen, the M plus angle is there for Season 4. Uh, partially. The beginning of the season... It'll be fun. It'll be it'll be enjoyable. But then uh, from a content standpoint, people are like, I've heard, bro. I've already seen this. I've already seen it. I've already done it. Been there. We've done that. All the good things. But friends, I'm going to keep on getting some feedback. Respond to me in the Discord. Right now, I am leaning more towards my current channel being the Suza channel and then doing the new, the new WoW channel. But I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know. Friends, we sent in some prayers, by the way. Got some things coming up in the future. That could be good. That's all I'll say. Be praying for me. Be praying for me. Let's go. Oh, and reminder. A few things. Before we get into some season of Discovery, man, if we're waiting for you, waiting for me. few things. If you guys have not already, head in to the Discord. We got a few things. One, checking out. Now, I can't read it from this far away. But Novo, oh, don't move that. Mo, Novo just posted the Unity message of the day. By the way, Chaos Raid tonight, and I will be there. Only for the first hour, because then I'm doing a once, once human uh, beta thing. But if you guys want to check this out, I would read it, but I, I can't read it from here. All I see is, I think that says season four, April 23rd. I think so. Yeah, Hunter fam, yep. Once human beta comes out tonight. But it is locked to 150,000 people. 150,000 people. So I'm going to try to be one of those people tonight. I'm going to try. If I get in, then tomorrow's entire stream will be the once human beta. So for example, that right there, tomorrow easily turns into, uh, you know, Ooh, I think. Uh, first impressions, once human YouTube video. You know what I mean? Literally, very, very easy. But that's not going to go on a WoW channel. That just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. And uh, so if we can get in, then tomorrow I'll be streaming it. And if not, then we'll be playing Seed Discovery. Seed Discovery. Another thing, too, you guys got to check it out. And I want to give you guys a reminder. Guys, next week, the entire Discord, the entire Discord is getting an entire overhaul. This Discord next Tuesday is going to be about probably a quarter of its size. It is going to be way easier to navigate, way easier to use, way less overwhelming, so much clearer. And we're going to be able to add even more information to the Discord without making it any bigger. It's going to be like a quarter of the size. And the team and I have been working hard on it. Next Tuesday at Reset. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. It's going to be amazing. Don't miss out. It's going to be epic. But also, if you are here and you are interested in joining us for a community Alabama meetup, 
I want to encourage you, type exclamation point Alabama in the chat. We are doing an IRL Unity Game Meetup. I will be there in Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama. And right now we are polling the community to see which dates work better. Either May, no, let me, yeah, May 26th or June 2nd. Click that form. All we're asking is which date works better for you. And for the most part, just going to go with, you know, majority wins. Majority wins. So if you guys want to be able to come to that meetup, then let us know. And then once we know the date, in about a week from now, early next week, we will release like, hey, guys, here's the date we picked. And then we will release like all the information. Here's where we're meeting. Here's what we're doing. Here's what will be. Yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. And so if you guys either live in the area or are willing to make the drive, we're going to get a chance to meet IRL. It's going to be amazing. Baby Corn, a Colorado uh, meet meetup is very, 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 very tentative. It is, it is not definite. That is something that we may, potentially, maybe, maybe we'll end up doing. Um, as of right now, there is, there is nothing official about Colorado. But if that does end up happening, then I will I'll let people know. Right now, I'm focusing attention on the Alabama one. I don't want to start confusing people with, with a million meetups happening at once. Uh, Omen, approximately how many people are coming so far? That's a good question. Kissy, how many people have... Uh, I know you sent the results in the officer chat yesterday, but how many people have posted in there, have, have filled that out? It'd be, it'd be, yeah, it'd be great to know, like, how many, how many people. So, okay, so 10 people so far. So we've got about 10 people. And I'm definitely going to be there. My wife is tentative. And really, for my wife, it's just a matter of... Can we get a dog sitter for Luna? My wife is actually hanging out with a uh, hanging out with a friend tonight, and we're gonna see if our friend is gonna be able to watch Luna. But we are not so sure. If we can't get a house sitter for Luna, then I will go. But unfortunately, Amanda probably won't be able to come with me. Someone obviously has to stay home with uh, stay home with the doggo, stay home with Luna. Yeah, baby. Why are we not bringing Luna? Because I can't bring a Great Dane to a public space. <laughs> hey, guys, we're meeting up at this restaurant. I'm bringing my Great Dane. <laughs> yes, Charles Rivers, we're doing an Alabama meetup. Huntsville, Alabama. It is either going to be a, it's either going to be, what you call it, May 26th or June 2nd. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. The place we're talking about, meeting allows dogs, just saying. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, I, Bringing a Great Dane to a community meetup, then I got to watch her, take care of her, think about her, make sure she uses the bathroom, make sure she's getting fed. All while there's a million people who are trying to come up and talk and hang out. I mean, it's just, I just don't think it's a very conducive to, I don't have to worry about my dog. And then I don't want to throw my dog. I'll be like, hey, Amanda, you take care of her. You know what I mean? Like, that's not fair either. I don't, so I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think bringing Luna is really, <laughs> I don't think. I've done these meetups before. And uh, there is, there, yeah, I don't know if I, I would have not enjoyed if, if I had a dog <laughs> with me. It's too much to think about, too many conversations to have, too much to do. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd be a fan of bringing Luna. I, 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 I don't know. I'll let y'all know, but there there is a 1% chance Luna will come. There is a 1% chance. <laughs> the only way I would consider bringing Luna is if we can't get a house sitter, and then that means Amanda can't come. I would probably be willing to make bringing Luna work if, if it means like Amanda can't come. But then I also need somewhere to like sleep overnight with the dog. It's a whole, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole thing. There is a whole thing in it. There's a whole thing in it. You guys just want to meet Luna. That's why. Uh, Charles, yep, it's in the community announcements tab of the Discord. And actually, TikTok can't see this right now. But on, actually, if I do this, no, that's the wrong scene. You know what? And I need to, uh, 
Yeah, I need to make that scene on. There we go. Yeah, that's where it is. TikTok, you can see that now. That's where it is in the um, in the Discord, in the community announcements tab. And again, this is just getting people to let us know which date works better for them. And then once we we know what date works better, then we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, friends, I'm getting back to the desk, and we are about we are about to play some Sea Discovery. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a it's actually a Luna meetup. This isn't even a Susie meetup. As I said, put me in coach! Bro, let's get some leveling, shall we? Let's get some leveling up in here, shall we? Let's get it. Come on now. All right, I'm reconnecting. Mag, are you ready to rock and roll, bro? Are you ready to rock and roll, bro? Yo, by the way, Merabinji, thank you so much for that good old resub on kick. I appreciate you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. As of right now, there is no uh, Unity Gaming Guild on Alliance. But if we do get a handful of people that are playing, I can let y'all know. I can let y'all know. Photoshop, yeah, so basically the way that it's going to work, Photoshop, is tonight for the Once Human Beta. If basically there's 150,000 people that will be able to get in and they all have to be ready tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern and the first 150 people to hit log in those people will get access to the beta so that's where I'll be doing tonight yo dirt bony what's up baby I will have to start see discovery but it's hard to find time for that do you think they will add BC at some point to sod <laughs> you know that's tough to say man that's tough to say and the reason I, I say that is because Statistically, now that the WoW subscription numbers have been released, WoW Classic had literally millions of, of people that came back to play it. And then when the game went to Burning Crusade, it just did not have the same appeal. A very small percentage of people that came back for Classic and played all the way through played Burning Crusade. A like very, very small percentage of people. So, we will, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, Asmo got to level 10. Let's go, man. Yo, Matt, give me a uh, pass lead if you don't mind, bro. Let me make sure uh, this light's going to be good, too. We should check my lighting. Oh, I got something on my shirt. Look at Luna back there. She's living her best life. And now the neon tides. Dun, 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 dun. Why does my lighting look weird? Oh, this is Plankton. This is the greatest song ever. AI failed. The song is Here Comes SpongeBob. What happened to my home? It's not the place I know. It's so good. Bro, when I'm in the car, whew, I jam out to this song, no cap. No cap, I jam out to this song. It is so good. So, so good. All right, homies, shall we level? We need more boars. More, yep, more boars. We need more meat. And we need more of their ribs. Yo, this is about to slap hard.
Come on. Ireland, was it you that requested the song? Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Come on now. Kiss the shell. What you know about the penguin mosh pit? What you know about the penguin mosh pit, huh? What you know about it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Esteban was going hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. I'm coming, Mag. I'm here. I'm here, bro. Let's go. All right, Mag. I'm jumping on the good old uh, Discord, bro. I'm jumping on the good old Discord, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Create a uh, stream room. Nice. And slash lock. Let's go. Bum, bum. No, not voice unlock. Voice lock. That, uh, uh, uh. All right, sweet. And there's a, there's a wild Magnifigore, bro. What's up, man? You think your pathetic lock can stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Mag can always find his way in. He can always find his way in. Let's go, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Stop, dude. How you doing, big guy? I'm good. You're uh, not actually level 21. I was not going to lie. I'm not, I was Guess like, what, bro? What, bro? Yesterday, I met an IRL dwarf. What do you mean? Like an actual person with dwarfism. I met a dwarf. Wait, for real? Yeah. How, how tall were they? Like, smaller than you. Well, I mean, I'm impressive. not I'm not that small. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, nowhere... I'm talking, like three foot tall. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm nowhere near actual Really like, nice dwarfism. lady. She was... she was three foot tall. Really? Dude, much, much respect, bro. Yeah. Much respect, man. Yeah. And you know how I've got like a Pomeranian cross that's my mom's dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she had a, a miniature Pomeranian and I said it was her size. Oh, bro. Do you know this person? I do now. Bro, that's so offensive, <laughs> dude. You can't, you can't say that to people you Thanks don't know, dude. For the song. Oh, oh, my god. I at my dude. house. Uh, oh, she was at your house? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking you're yeah, talking well, to a random a lady a on the street, dude. No. My bro, you gotta calm down. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh guys, put some hearts in the chat, Magnificor. He's the content. Magnificor and Luna are the content y'all really come for. No, like, yeah. that is and actually when she came around, I text my sister like, yo, you gotta come around. You gotta Ooh. come. Actually, I think, yeah, Asma, if you wanna give that to uh Magnificor, bro, that'd be lit, dude. You just did, actually. Let's go! I gotta say thank you to a few people. First of all, Gremlin Gobbler, welcome, my friend. Appreciate the follow on the good old Twitch. And then Benjamin following on TikTok. Y'all are absolutely incredible. Sincerely hope you know your love and value. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. ST Human Beings. And then Rivers Kid with a one year resub a Rooney. Can we get some Giga Chad in all caps? in the chat right now here's the deal you know the drill rivers kid after one year in the good old penguin palace esteban is coming down to meet you in your room you literally could just go ahead right now just lay on that bed in the penguin palace and then literally esteban and three of the penguins are going to come grab a corner of the bed and they're just going to bring you up to the top floor of what we call are you ready for this the good old penguin penthouse that's top floor living, baby. Top floor living right there. Anything that you need, the Penguin Butler's got your back. I'm talking Olympic-sized swimming pool. I'm talking your own skyline view of the entire Penguin City. And again, of course, as always, if you need anything, just go ahead, ring that good old butler bell. And then Penguin Butler's got your back, my friend. I appreciate you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Love it, love it, love it. Dun, 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 dun. Penguinopolis. Ooh, I kind of, I kind of dig that a little bit. I kind of dig that a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go. All right. Let me look at, uh, oh, we got some quests to turn in, bro. Did you finish the, uh, the board one and everything? Uh, yeah, I'm just killing some snow leopards. Okay. Then I think we're good to turn these in and then get on to the next one. Let's go. Hey, wizard Lord. What's up, friend? Good to see you on TikTok. What's going on? Is this real? This is indeed real life. You are not watching an illusion. We are playing Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery is basically the classic version of the game 
However, they have made a ton of changes to the game. There are raids that have never been in the game before. There are class combos that have never been in the game before. Shamans can be a tank. Rogues can be a tank. Mages can be a healer. There's abilities that have never existed in Classic. There are some abilities that have never existed in any of WoW before. And so it's really cool. And it comes with a WoW subscription. So if you pay for WoW, if you pay $15 a month to play WoW, you get access to Retail Dragonflight, the new WoW Plunderstorm, which is a Battle Royale. You get Normal WoW Classic. You get Hardcore WoW Classic. You get Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And then you get the Season of Discovery version that you're watching right now. Six World of Warcraft game modes for the same price that we've already been paying for years. The crazy part is, if you have ever played WoW, like, or it paid for WoW even for one month, the same amount of money that you paid to have access to one version of World of Warcraft, today you pay that same price to get access to six versions of World of Warcraft. Like, you, you, you realize how insane that is? That it's actually, it's nuts. Hoagies, you want in, bro? You got it, man. Right now, I'm just on Discord with Mag. But if you guys want to join the uh, leveling, I'm totally down for that, man. Leveling is so fast now. It's insane, bro. It is absolutely on a different I level. I think uh, we might be getting close to doing some AOE pew-pews. Oh, some AOE pew-pews, bro? Well, I mean, I'm just saying that 100% increase experience. Oh. I feel like AOE might be the way. Bro, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. Oh, snap. Clemson Lady, 38 months with the Prime. Thank you so much, friend. I appreciate you. S tier. Guys, that's that's more than three years. Three years I of the Bezos the Bucks. Might be. I mean, appreciate you. Try out on the Yeti. You farming some Yetis, bro? You farming them Yetis? I'm also fishing in RuneScape, by the way. As, as I, I did am not always. need to know that. You did need to know, bro. I, I was having fun. Know. I was happy. No, no. Nah. Now I'm ruined. Now I see you trying to get in. You're, I think, Mexi. I see you're whispering game. I think you're appearing offline because I, I can't invite you to the group. And normally, if I can't right click and invite, that means someone's appearing offline. Normally, with that, that's what that means. Normally, normally. All right. Are you are you actually in the cave? Oh, no, you're right here. No, I just, uh, I wanted to test out, like, a group AoE. But the group AoE is probably going to get really diminished the more people we have in the group. Yeah. We'll do that later. Truth. Yo, Mr. Quinn, RuneScape member membership used to be, like, $6. Now it's, like, 13 WoW has never changed. That's what I'm saying, man. People, people give Blizz a lot of crap, and a lot of that crap has been deserved. But the fact that they have never increased the WoW subscription, I, I think that deserves at least a little bit of respect, man. I think that deserves at least a little bit, especially now that we have six game modes for the same price. I mean, that's that's literally nuts. That's literally nuts, bro. Casual John, I mean, have you just redeemed the banana costume? He has indeed. He has indeed redeemed the banana costume. Friends, I will be back. I gotta get it out of my closet. He has indeed redeemed it. He has indeed redeemed it. Alright, well, I guess I'll go and entertain myself. He's just gonna stand out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a giant bear behind you. Okay, whatever. It's not my problem. Uh, where is this? just question your life decisions like how did we end up here i am banana okay. i am banana that's what john thanks for using your good old channel points in the stream appreciate you brother i will accept your request check mark you look good as a banana i appreciate lie. that bro i appreciate that bro yeah. s tier why do i look purple 
Yeah, my lighting is all being weird, dude. Y'all see that? Did I mess up my camera settings? Let me check that real quick. I think my camera's freaking out. Yeah, my colors are all, they're all jacked up. They're all jacked up. Come on now. Luna, what about, he, now hear me out, Bob Ross Banana. Oh my God. A combination of the Bob Ross and the banana. Now that might be too much epicness that the internet just couldn't handle it, you know what I mean? I'm not sure promoting a hairy banana in a positive way is a good thing. Huh. Like, I think if your banana's got hair, like, growing out of it, like fur, it's probably rotten. Huh. He does, he does have a point. You're such a child. He does have a point. He does have a point. <laughs> you're the worst, dude. You're the worst. What? I didn't say anything. What well, you want to take from my words? You. <laughs> I'm just saying that you shouldn't eat bananas uh, that are rotten. Oh, my never. Rand, so what does it kill you makes you stronger? Come on now. That is very, very true. That is very, very true. Come on now. Mag is on to something. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Oh, Hoagies is. Hoagies, you got a guild, bro? He's got a guild, my man. Bum, 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 I'm, I'm nearly uh, level 11. So. Bro, why can't I get up this hill, dude? Is it, is it over here? Am I throwing? Oh, no. I remember this quest. You got to go up here and then climb up that hill. I remember it. I remember it. I've done this. I've done this too many times to not have remember this. Let's go, let's go. I need a wand. Jamie Ramister, welcome, friend. Hopefully you're doing well. Remember when we had one delivery? What was one delivery? One delivery, like back when we started doing this. And we had people delivering wands. I want a wand. Oh, wand deliveries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, wands oh, are super... I thought you said one delivery, and I was like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> what <you're> saying. <laughs> it's new company runs. <laughs> Rival FedEx, one delivery. I am indeed testing the limits of fall damage, but see, this isn't. It's not hardcore, so I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to die. Mm, mm, mm. Jamie Ramster, it's been very odd since I was young. I've met so many believers that play Paladins. You know, me, me and AJ both do. I just, I just love, I don't know, the lore of like being a defender of righteousness and fighting off evil and casting holy ability. I just, I think it's, I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Amarasi, you would clip that and put it, you would. You stinking would. Let's go, let's go. Jamie, I'm glad to hang out, man. King Clubs, I agree. The paladin life is indeed the best life. That is just the big facts. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I've never played a paladin. I don't well, paladin. You should, bro. Because they're best, dude. The paladins are absolutely best, man. Well, you see, the problem is Death Knights are better in almost every single way. Death Knights are sick. What well, makes you think they're better? Because they're cooler. What makes them cooler? Well, they're dead, for starters. That makes them pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> You do love that DK life, huh? I do, I do, I do. I thought about mining one for a while. 
You have a yeah. You have one. You have one in Max in Wrath, right? I have one in Wrath and I have one in Retail. What a beast, dude! What an absolute beast! Yeah, I I did a mm -mm. I did mm -mm. Uh, Karazhan. I tanked Karazhan on my DK. That was really fun. What a chad, dude! Yeah. But then I uh, I went to raid logging and I just focused all my attention on my mage. So sad. Good old raid logger, bro. Right, brother, dude, congrats. Oh, congrats, dude. 11.4K followers on TikTok. Unity stream team to the moon. Guys, can we get some hearts in the chat for Right, brother? Right, brother is a member of the community. He heads up his own community as well called uh, You Are Loved. He creates content on TikTok. He's a great friend of ours. Part of our Unity stream team. The dude is a literal legend. Well, we appreciate you, man. Congrats, dude. Keep growing. Keep grinding. Keep working hard, bro. Love it, love it, love it. Dun, 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 dun. Where do you? you I'm Rossi. Need some you, water. Oh yeah, if you don't mind, maybe something be sick. I'm Rossi. You talking about making that sound effect on um, a soundboard in Discord? I forget we can do that, bro. I completely forget we can do that. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. We don't have any sound effects. It's just kind of it's it's on the list. It's just kind of way dun, down. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yo, I got, I'm down. I will take a free water delivery. Where you at? Oh, you're way over there. You're way over there, bro. Yeah, no offense. Just, you know, further away from you two I get, the more XP I have. That's true. That's true. All right, I need to purify this guy. So I need to cast purifying the Wounded Adventurer. On the Wounded Adventurer. Who is oh, the rogue Wounded dude? Adventurer? I think, he's the, I think he's the rogue on top of that thing. Oh, that's what you do with him. Last time I came here, I didn't. I didn't actually have the ability, but now, uh, now I do. Let's go. Hunter fan, get some work done. Respect. Feel free to leave up a lurk if you'd like. We're hanging out, enjoying life. And guys, yesterday I did finish setting up my gym. It is now ready for use. It is indeed. Dun, dun, dun. Come on now. Get deleted, bro. Okay, my daughter's cat is so annoying. You know that you are not a fan of the cat when you refer to it as my daughter's cat. <laughs> you ever hear like siblings that are currently mad at their mother? And instead of saying like, mom did this, they'll be like, well, your mother said this. I've seen it. It's funny. Bro, that sun is coming in hot. I got to close my blinds a little bit. Guys, I am a glowing banana right now. Dude, but these ads are just spawning left and right, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, oh, dude, I got my first shield, bro. Now, I can't. Oh, okay, so you're actually. No, you're not up here. You're actually over here. I got a. I got a cracked buckle of shield. Oh, wanna... I found him. I think I healed him, bro. Oh, that's a nice shield. Oh, he handed me a rune. He handed me a rune. Teaches me this graving ability. And this one goes on... Increases your block value by 30%. And damage melee and rage attacks against you have a 10% chance to increase your chance to block by 30. Nice. I'm assuming this goes... Oh, it goes on my chest. Oh, that's not a chest, it's a shirt. Let's go, dude. Am I like... Yeah, I'm pretty black. Let me just uh close my blinds a little bit. Ah! Don't disconnect it. Don't disconnect it. Let's go. I'm on now. Dude. You must kill all the things, bro. You must fly through the levels. Fly through them. Mama Moon Tears. I still call my Ooh. husband's dogs his dogs. Yeah. Yep. Point proven. When you don't like him or want to take ownership, that's what you sword? Uh, yeah. You want to link it in chat, bro? I might, I might need that, dude, actually. It, it's in chat. It's the training sword. Oh, heck yeah. I'll take that, bro. Cool. 
That's uh, way three gold. better than what I've got. <laughs> three. You get out of my face, dude. I gave you the two gold you have. I have actually four gold now. There's no shot you have four gold. <laughs> Mage life, bro. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> and how did you do it? Well, I just sold everything and I don't have to spend money on, like, food or anything. That 300% more gold must be coming in clutch then. There's no way at level yeah, 10 you, yeah. you'd have earned two gold. Did we just land it? I don't know, actually. I was uh, fighting something and then it disappeared in front of me. Casey, enjoy reading that book and enjoy the book club tonight. Guys, if you don't know, we do have a Unity Gaming book club led by the legend oh, of yeah. Pierce herself. This is, this is, this is the way. Oh, the AoE yeah. farm, dude. Yeah. The AoE farm, bro. Yeah. Singing. Skull to skull. I actually feel like I might just about. What are you doing, bro? I ding. What are you doing? I got level 11. You're a beast, bro. I'm almost there. So we're like, we're like almost neck and neck. We're almost neck and neck, bro. Ba -dum -bum. Oh, here. You can have this. Uh... Oh, yeah. Give me the water. Give me the water. No, sword. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Water, so. I'll do some water, too. Yeah. Yeah, sword for sure, man. Do you even have two-handed strength? Oh, I haven't learned it. Dang it. Oh, I just thought about that. <laughs> I forget. I forget Classic, you have to bro. do that. Classic. <laughs> I forget you have to do that, man. King Clubs, this is on Wild Growth. It's actually the same server we were on on Horde, but now we're just Alliance. On the bright side, uh, I do think the 200 trainer is in Ironforge. Oh, nice. Close by then, dude. Heck yes. yeah, dude. Joe Cap, did I enjoy Easter? We had a great Easter. We went and visited a, a church in the area that we've moved to in the morning. Then we went, we went out, got a few things for the house and some errands. Came home, I made hibachi on the Blackstone. Spent some good quality time together. It was amazing. How was yours, friend? Good to see you popping in. Is spring break over? No, because I can tell there is a way, there is way more kids around the neighborhood. I'm like, shouldn't you that's be in disgusting. school? Yeah, that's disgusting. Oh my goodness, man. Old man Susie on his porch. Oh with his rocking chair and his dog. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. It's not far from the truth. So, Captain, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed your uh, your day, man. And your Easter. God bless you, bro. Scro Totems, I am level 10, about to ding level 11. We got Hoagies here, Asbo's hanging out, me and Mag. And we, we can't fit one more for leveling if you guys want in. Right now, I'm only on Discord with, uh, with Mag, but you guys are more than welcome to join the group. I think I'm going to have some burgers for dinner. Ooh, I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have the last of the leftover hibachi. My wife is going out to dinner with a friend. You still have that? Oh, bro, I made, I made a lot of it, dude. <laughs> a lot of it, dude. <laughs> we, I made like basically four dinners worth oh, for me and my wife. I never picked up that quest. Can you share the quest with us? Which one? Uh, the Operation Recombobulation. Recombob yes, here we go, here we go. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so we do have room for one more. If you want in score, you can get in. Absolutely can get in. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go. Especially when I'm just doing like chill leveling like this. I normally will only bring like if I'm leveling the mag, I'll, I'll bring mag in the discord. The reason I don't normally bring everyone in is sometimes if I'm just been honest, sometimes it's just it's just too challenging to juggle too many conversations all at once if i'm you know I'm reading 70 plus people in the chat and then trying to also carry lots of conversation discord sometimes it's just it's just a little too challenging but you guys are more than welcome to to come play come hang out and then we, we just bring mag on for the uh for the first of all the eight years of loyalty i mean that's a that matters but <laughs> But the, the comedic say, I don't value. get brought anywhere. I go where I want. <laughs> I just join against your I just, I just show up. <laughs> Mag with the, the comedic value. Come on now. Yo, Chubbs, what up, friend? What is our raid team's uh, raid progression? Right now, we're definitely 6 out of 9. Percentage on Smolderon, I think. Some people that are on my team in the chat. Uh, 
Is it like 48% I think is our, uh, I think our best attempt? I could be wrong, but I, th I think that's, I think that's where we're at. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I asked AJ last night what your guys' raid team progression was. He didn't know. What, my, my mythic raid team? Isn't he on that team? Oh, no, never mind. He could be, but he just he's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Good old AJ about that for AJ. I know you watch it, dude. I know you're listening. I know you're listening, brother. Come on, we love you, AJ. We're leaving you. Oh, we played Helldivers last night after uh, his raid. That was so funny. Oh yeah, you raided him on my channel, right? He's not supposed to know that, that it was yeah. Wait, he didn't he didn't know that till right now? No, no, he thought it was you. I just didn't say anything because I think it's funny. AJ, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, I didn't check before I left. I, uh, I really got to get better with that, man. I just, it's just really not that hard. Just, yeah, that's what you have me for. Just raid the peoples, man. Just, I gotta just get better at it, dude. That's it, man. Just gotta do it. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Yeah, the banana suit is from, uh, from Channel Points. Come on now. Oh, and you I'm know what I gotta do? Sixteen percent in this level. I think I gotta, I gotta actually, uh, I gotta disable. Auxiliator, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna change. Well, I guess I could still redeem. do it. Cause I used to have changed the color of my room and Auxiliator redeem some of those points right now. Oh. Um, and I guess I, I guess I could still do it. Let me see though. I'll grab my guitar real quick. Will I still do this? Let me know, what, uh, what color do you want, bro? This will be, this will be a first live test to see if it's something I'll still keep. I say that new light thing that looks like you know, a giant pole that can't change color. I can't. I don't. But I don't want it to change color. Oh, okay. It it, uh, it gives me the glow effect on my head that I that I enjoy, and I don't, I don't want it to be taken away. Dun, dun. He said yellow to match the. <laughs> oh my goodness! But it's like not even yellow. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yellow. Like, what I might mm, see the other light system that I had worked very, I mean, it worked the same, but it looked very different. Mm. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Take a look. Take a look. We'll test oh, yeah, it for right now. Like, I may remove that like option, a, but we'll see. Like a light orange, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, that's the most yellow button I have, but it's, it's really like not even very yellow. Yeah, Cranberry, this is CD Discovery. Yep. Right now we're hanging out, me, Hoagies, Asmo, Manifigore, chilling, relaxing, enjoying life. And guys just think we could be doing this in person. We're within release, guys. We'll be doing that in person. It's gonna be amazing. Dun, 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 dun. All right, go. I'm gonna do big pull. Oh snap, big OE pull. Big, 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 big. Oh, oh. Killing gnomes in person seems wrong. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Ethan, you trying to get 40 on this paladin by tomorrow? No, I will definitely not be level 40 by tomorrow. That is for sure. But I do plan on actually hitting max. It's, it's a great time now. Even with the release of season four coming around the corner, uh, I'm still going to be hitting max level on this paladin. I wanted to hit max level on the Shaman when Season Discovery first came out. The timing was just really bad. Right when Season 3 launched, Season 3 was so good. But Season 4, it's not that I'm not going to be doing any Mythics or any retail content. I'll still be raiding regularly. And raiding, I'm so pumped. I'm actually more pumped to raid this tier than any of the other tiers because we, I get to relive all the epic raids and do them with my current Mythic raid team, which is going to be so much fun. But as far as Mythic Plus go, I'd be lying if I said I'm you know, equally as excited for this season's mythics than I have been for the past one. So I'll be changing up some of the wild content a little bit, a little bit of uh, Seed of Discovery, hoping that Plunderstorm will stick around in some capacity. And then also uh, I'll try a little bit of wild PVP, man. Well, not try, I've done a lot of it in my life, but add a little bit more. I, d I, th I think I did a little bit of that in uh, season, was it season one, I think, or season two, when some of the content lol started i started doing some pvp and that was fun man i did some with coach who's our pvp content leader that was a lot of fun all right so coach it looks like such oh, a pvp chat he doesn't even know what a dungeon is well he's just he's he's giga broken dude 
Oh, yeah. And Mag, you still need... What, three more of these bad boys? Uh, this might give me at this pull. He's trying to run. Don't let him run, bro. Oh, there's Coach in the chat now. He said, did I hear my name, bro? Bro, did you literally like just join the stream and then I said your name? Because that would be wild, bro. That would actually be wild. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Oh, yeah. I still need four more gears. Let's go. Let's go. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Let's go. Dun. Four new, four new, four new. Get it, get it, get it. And I set fire to the gnome. Oh, snap, hola. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not coming with you guys so up. broken. <laughs> Are you just AOEing the crap out of everything now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Put it this way. Uh, all three of your damage doesn't even equal my living flame. No shot. That's, that's how broken it is. Made is broken. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah, I like how, you know, they've, they've always been broken in Classic and then Season of Discovery. Just made them even more broken. Eh, whatever. Yeah, dude, made is R. They're mega broken, dude. They I'm are done, yeah. mega broken. I am done. Oh, we snap. can go back to whatever okay, it is that deal. your thing says. Come on. All right, now we go back to just following the arrow. Wait, unless does Hoagie need some? No, we're all, we're all no, AR. Yeah, everyone's good. Everyone's good. Yo, what up, the Dole? Good to see you on TikTok, friend. We are leveling in Season of Discovery. Preparation for Season 3 releases tomorrow, by the way, which is going to be super duper epic. New level 50 max level cap. New Sunken Temple raid. If you guys remember the Sunken Temple dungeon from way, way back in the day, now it's going to be a 20 man raid. And then uh, new runes as well. New runes as well. We're on the server Wild Growth. And uh, this time around, I'm playing Alliance. The reason we went Horde the first time is we uh, we pulled the community to see what people wanted to play, Horde or Alliance. And majority had voted Horde. But months mm -hmm. later, the people that are still actively playing, most of them are Alliance. So when I wanted to make a new character, I wanted to come back and, uh, and play with them. And I'll be honest, I, I definitely do prefer Alliance for sure. So but... moral of the story, don't listen to people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it fair because in uh, in Wrath Classic, we have a Unity Guild and it's Alliance. So I was like, well, let's let's make it fair. But I think next time I'm just gonna pick Alliance. <laughs> I like Alliance. I just, but I I do really hope that in Season Discovery, they will remove the uh, the limitation, like that Horn Alliance can just play together. Oh. Like, I know that that is, like, a change that's happened in retail. And if you're going to be about, you know, adding changes, might as well. Might as well give yeah, us another change. Yeah, uh, like, a classic plus, they got to do that. Yeah, I agree. It's just an unnecessary limitation at this point. Nah. Yo, let's I fight. understand it if, uh, for, like, PvP servers, but for, like, server like this, nah. Yo, let's fight this nah. elite. Oh, seven elite. Oh, he got... <laughs> Deleted, bro. Ooh. Absolutely obliterated. Oh, they pushed back the only human beta start. What till what time, bro? Don't make the boomer stay up late tonight, bro. Yeah. Feels bad. That actually is a bummer. Oh, till tomorrow. What time till tomorrow? That actually, you know what? I prefer that. Cause tomorrow is season discovery launch. So I really didn't want that to get in the way. So I'm kind of glad. Hmm. That like I am actually happy about. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wait. Wait, you are? What the heck? I thought it was pointing us to this quest over here. It, 
it was pointing us there. And then it, it changed. Where are you trying to get me to go now? Uh, I was trying to get me to kill these random bears and stuff. We'll keep, yeah, let's go get the shimmer weed. Let's do that. Exactly. Okay, so it they're, says they're on the way. It says 10 p.m. tomorrow, but it doesn't say a time zone. Okay, cool. Dang. Oh, well, that's rough, dude. That is rough ski, bro. 10 p.m. tomorrow. That's my date night. I would have moved my date night till tonight, but I planned on that being, you know, I plan on doing that, do the bonus stream tonight for that. And so my wife made plans for tonight. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. And then here we're, just, we're looting these, these crates, I think, right? Oh yeah, that's how we get the, the shimmer weed. Either from those, or they also drop from uh, actually killing the mobs. Yeah, but killing stuff's more fun. Uh. Oh, there's one mob that they didn't tag. Ah, oh, they got it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang, Don't worry, dang. because you have a mage in the group, and mages have these things called Instacast macros. Do it, bro. Tag literally everything. Tagged. Tagged. Mm -mm -mm. Give me the give me the shimmer weed. Yeah, dude, you you tagging everything is literally the best, the best. Sko totem is kind of hard to take anything you say serious. <laughs> the banana suit, I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you at all, bro. Is Marty, bro? Come on, that Paramore life though. Come on now. Paramore is best, dude. I'm going to full fizz, bad. I love Paramore, bro. And it's so nostalgic, man, because Paramore is one of the bands I would listen to way back in the day when playing, like, WoW Classic. Be right back. Keep me alive. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. We could go across the bridge, guys, because these are all dead. Yeah, we go across the bridge. Oh, we can mine that. I have mining. <gasps> Pog, first time mining in Seas of Discovery. Let's go. Oh, I got to drop something for that. Um, I'll drop that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. User, welcome to my TikTok, friend. Are you still with Corsair? So I had a six-month contract with Corsair that I had hoped would renew, but unfortunately, almost a month after I signed with Corsair, long story short, the guy that recruited me was the, the head of all partnerships. He's the guy that picks all the sponsors. And uh, about a month after that, he ended up quitting. And so then they brought in a new guy and he revamped all of the entire partnership program. And uh, we actually made a great amount of sales, but basically, with the new guy, anyone that was below like a certain size of viewership didn't get their contract renewed. So, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't say anything, but as soon as the guy that brought me on, like that handpicked me, quit, I knew. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real. I remember texting Mandy Figor, I was like, I remember I texted Mandy Figor, I obviously told say? my wife, I texted Mandy Figor and Luna, and I was like, yo, my manager just quit. There's no hope for me. Didn't I just reply <laughs> GG? I think you replied GG. I was like, yeah, there's there's no hope for me, dude. There's no hope, man. But dude, I am so glad the uh the six months that I got to be uh I got to be partnered with them, man. It was a dream come true. I had wanted it for five years. And although I, I'd be lying if I said, of course, I wasn't bummed or disappointed. But just really focused on the positive, thankful for the opportunity I did have to uh work with them. And uh and then obviously the goal would be, you know, grow the community, grow the channel, and then maybe we'll get another chance. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's business, man. You know, if they, uh, cause what they do for their content creators is they give them, you know, a certain amount of money a month for free giveaways. And so they were doing that with me. But the truth is, is that if you can, if you have the choice between two content creators and you're going to give them each $200 a month for giveaways and one content creator, like my size, you give him 200 and then maybe he makes the company 500 
or you give that same $200 to another content creator and he'll make the company $10,000. Who are you going to pick? I mean, it's just, it just, it, at the end of the day, bro, the math just needs to math. You know what I mean? Like the banana math just needs to be there, bro. And so grow the channel, grow the community, come back stronger, baby. That's the goal. That's the goal. But it was, uh, it was really cool, man. Being able to like send people Corsair items was just such a cool experience, dude. Such a cool experience. I will forever be thankful for the opportunity I had. All right, I got all six of mine. Did you get yours? Nope. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, let's go. I do, however, have a burger. Oh, you're eating? Oh, yeah, it's like dinner time for you. Yeah, it's like six o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat leftover hibachi for dinner tonight, oh. and uh, what you call it? My wife's going out to dinner with a friend, and then tomorrow, oh, guys, for date night, I'm making tacos on the Blackstone. I'm making tacos on the Blackstone. I also want to make um, Crunchwrap Supremes. Has Story been to your house yet, or is she still in the hospital? No, she's out of the hospital, but she hasn't been to her house yet. But I'm sure soon. So come hang out with Amanda. Oh, pal. Yeah. Thank you for that, bro. I got to get that taken care of you. They uh, they missed one giveaway. I got to make sure that happens. All right, I'm done. We can go. Oh, yeah. I definitely uh, I definitely was not already on my way. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you, Wayne. I also appreciate you, me saying, you know, keep me alive while I'm gone. And you go off to a fr completely freaking zone. <laughs> you did say that. Dude. You did. You did. You did. Oh, I come back and I'm literally alone. You you did say that, and I definitely didn't do it. Oh, that's yeah. that's Thanks, amazing, bro. dude. That is amazing, man. What was that about? Like six years of your loyalty. Really appreciate this man. Well, I appreciate you, not your character. Your character. This is a level ten character. We've only been together for like three hours. It's not enough time for loyalty. Still higher level than yours. It's true. Hey, we're the same level. Yeah, but I'm further into the level, so. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Ooh, I, I need one more of these bears. Just one more, baby. Dude, Crusader Strike on a Paladin and Classic feels so good. Dude, they really did make leveling 100 times better. Blizzard, absolute GGs, bro. Absolute GGs. If you haven't tried Seed of Discovery, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. What up, Bungie Nups? What is this game? And seeing you in the banana suit makes me wonder what a Planet of the Apes movie would look like instead, if instead the bananas took over instead of the apes. My brain is special. Yeah, well, that is uh, that is an interesting th train of thought there, friend. <laughs> interesting train of thought there, man. <laughs> OG Nubs, we love you. Bro, I'm sad we don't live in the same state anymore. Well, I'm sad I don't live near you. I'm sad that I don't, uh, I'm not sad that I don't live in Virginia. This area where I live now, bro, it's, it's pretty biss, bro. I love it. Love it. We absolutely love it. Wife and I ate dinner yesterday. Went out for... Gotten, got some ice cream. And ate our ice cream sitting in front of the lake. And it was just... Biss, bro. Literally everything I've like ever wanted in life. Mm -mm -mm. Love it, bro. What up, Cash BM? Good to see you, brother. How you doing, man? Ooh, ooh, I got talent points to spend, bro. But I gotta make sure I'm, I'm using my buff. Let me look up a uh, Ret Paladin Sod Talents. Let me just look these up real quick. Dun, dun, dun. Are you going Ret? Uh, for leveling, I'm gonna go Ret, yeah. Bump. What if we need a tank for, like, dead mines? I can do that. As a rat? No, oh, I just respect. The leveling will be much faster with the rat. Okay, sweet. I'm going to the next going to the next area. Dun 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 dun. Let's go. Cash BM, I see you getting ready for season discovery three, but are you ready for season four? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do season four for sure. Just not as not as hardcore as I, I normally have. It'll be plenty for me to be like geared for for mythic rating. But I, I normally do so many mythics on uh, on stream that, like, 
Because, like, especially the beginning of a season, like, when you have the caps, there reaches a point where, like, if you keep doing more dungeons, you're really not getting any benefit out of it. You're just playing the game, you know, for fun, which is obviously great. But when when I hit those caps, I'll be I'll be switching it up a little bit. 3K again. Um, I may go for 3K. Honestly, 3K will be even easier season four than it was season three because we're going to be stronger, have more HP, do more damage, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, season four, I don't really plan on on going too hard in the paint. I'll be raiding mythic raiding, obviously, with our team. I'll be doing some mythics every week. But you need this dude. I need what, dude? You need this dude. Oh, the leopard dude. Let's go. But I don't I don't plan on hardcore grinding it like I did the other seasons. Just because it's just, you know, not anything new. Not anything new. So I'll be focusing on other wild stuff as my uh, as my content. Okay, that bear we don't we don't need, but he did aggro anyway. So what is this? This is oh, it's just pointing me towards finding a leopard. That's all it's trying to get me to do. Ooh, that chest piece? Is that actually an upgrade for me? Taking back what the enemy stole. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. Cash, you plan on uh, grinding out season four, dude? There'll be some people that grind it. I think it's cool. Get that. I can give Asma my buff as well. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, I tell you what, it's some good burger. Your burgers are a vibe, dude. Burgers are so yeah. good. I grilled up some burgers last week. Mm. I'm telling you, everything's better on a Blackstone. If you I'm are in need of... Or something. Bro, I'm going to get sponsored one day, dude. If you are in need of a new <laughs> grill and are in the market to buy one and would be open to instead buying a, a flat top griddle Blackstone, they will change your life. It will literally change your life, bro. Blackstone is my new favorite way to cook. Pretty much everything. It is literally bis. And I love it so much. It's a shield, I don't want to drop that. Um, I'll drop you. With the enemy stone. Come on now. Irish, you're going for an interview? What the heck? Yo, send me an update, bro. What is this interview for, man? All right, now we're basically, wait. Now it's taking us to do the Dumbarrow Wetlands death skip. Wait. For real? Well, I might go past in these quests there first. And then it wants us to do the Wetlands death skip. Oh, this could be spicy. Um, okay. Well, let's do let's do a few things. It's not on the recommended guide, but we do have that elite Yeti quest, and then we'll pass in the two quests in Karanos, and then and then I want to do this this wetland skip, dude. Come on, dude, boss, dude, I did already get one person to buy a blackstone, but unfortunately they could not use code Caesar to save ten percent, dude. They could not. I got. I gotta get a few more, uh, few uh, a little bit more influence in the Blackstone community under my belt. Prove my worth, Paco, bro. I'm not even joking. It's so easy to use, so easy to clean. You can literally make everything on it, bro. It is amazing, and especially if you are cooking for like multiple people, maybe a larger family, whatever. You have so much space on the blackstone i recommend getting a 36 inch bro like i made me and my wife enough i mean it's just the two of us but i made enough dinner on the blackstone for us to eat for four days in no time super easy cleanup it was bro it's just oh it's the best i freaking love it dude i can make epic breath breakfasts on it in like literally eight minutes oh it's so good Oh, bro, Irish. Me, Susie. I almost... Me have fire. Yeah. Me bring meat. <laughs> yeah. Me real man. And Irish, I tell my wife all the time, I'm so glad I listened to Irishman and got the bigger one instead of the smaller one. Because yeah. your trick about... Irish man, too. <laughs> your, your trick about getting the, the 36 inch so that I have one extra burner to let things just kind of 
stay warm on while I'm cooking on the rest of them was huge brain, dude. So Irish Susie, brain. they man folk, they bring fire. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Paco, there's just that whole issue with the heat, AC, water heater, washer, all need to be replaced. Oh yeah, yeah, that's priority for sure. That's priority for sure. And honestly, I wouldn't even have gotten one, but uh, a few years ago, I don't know, maybe when I bought my house, my old, my other house, six years ago, I uh, I'm not gonna lie, I cheaped out and bought a uh, a cheap grill, and I. I uh, I paid the price. You either buy nice or buy twice, because that thing rotted out, bro. Like hardcore. It was, it was... What just happened? Sorry, I leveled up again. Nice, dude. But I can't turn on the quest now. Oh, because he's doing the thing. And so I needed to buy a new grill. Well, I mean, didn't need to. You know, a grill is not really a necessity. But I wanted to buy a new grill because my other one was broken. Oh. And uh, man die if no fire for meat. And then I started looking into the Blackstone because my my friend Irishman had been. I heard him talk about it all the time, and I was like, "Yo, maybe I should look into this." And I'll be honest, I didn't think I would like it. And then I started doing research and started looking up all the differences between like just getting a, a normal grill and a Blackstone. And I was pretty convinced just by you know the stuff I learned online and asking some friends. But now that I have one, bro. I'm like, I can't believe I haven't had one like all my adult life, bro. It is, I'm telling you, bro, it's grilling on another level. And so key, is Blackstone like a grill? Similar to a grill, but instead of, you know, instead of a normal grill with like, you know, the, the grates with like the, you know, the holes and then, you know, the, the fire like physically touching the food. Think of it, as, so it's it's called a like a like a flat top griddle. Think about like, when you cook on a pan on a stove and think about just the entire grill being the pan. Think of it just like a huge pan and you just cook, you know cook all like? of your food on a flat top like that. What's it like? Bro? It's like, it's like if a wok got ran over by a truck. Oh, you're talking about like how they make Asian food, the wok? Yeah. What is a wok made like of? If it, just cast iron. Interesting. That's what it basically is. It's just like a flat wok, and then you can cook whatever you want on it. That's true. That is very, very true. Yeah, okay, that, yep. Yeah. If you've ever been to a hibachi restaurant, what they cook the food on, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So, like, I made my own hibachi on Easter this Sunday, and I literally was like, bro, I'm basically, I'm basically the people at the hibachi restaurants. It was amazing. Moon Tears, you have a huge walk in a week. 25 pounds? Sheesh. That's crazy. Is Marty, you may have convinced me. I just texted the wife. Bro, send them an email or something. Look, when, when you put in your order, I don't, like write an email. Just say, Susie inspired me. I'm trying to get a code, bro. 10%. You know what I mean? My goodness gracious, dude. That would be absolutely insane. But yeah, guys, they are next level. And I've been doing some streams on them. They're just fun, man. I just, I enjoy it. I like talking. You guys know that. So like while I'm, you know, grilling the Blackstone, I just throw the phone on TikTok and just hang out and talk to people. So good, man. Which one did you get? I got the, the 36 inch. It's got four burners. And I'm going to give you the advice that Irishman gave me. I was going to get the smaller one because it's just me and my wife. So I was like, I don't need, uh, what am I going to buy a big grill for? I don't need it. We don't even have, we have, we have one friend in the area. So like, you real man, you have big grill. That's absolutely true, bro. And so, but his recommendation was get the, the four burner, the 36 inch, because you can use three to be cooking on. And then you use the fourth one that, for example, if some of your food is done, but you don't want to keep cooking it, but you don't want to take it off and then it get cold. You just push it over to the the fourth, you know, burner, but you just on that flat top. Because even though it's not super hot, because there's no fire underneath it, because it's off, but it's still warm because the flat top is just one big piece. And it, it acts like a warmer, is Marty. Absolutely. And it is amazing, bro. So like I'm dude, I'm I'm I'm, I'm making food better than I ever had before. Because my food is staying warm. It's being cooked right. It's literally the best, bro. Oh, Mag, you're not here, are you? 
Oh wait, we'll kill another one for you. I'm on the way. I was I was dun, stuffing my dun. face with a burger. Let's go, dude. Ooh. No, I don't want that. Now, can only one of us search this chest, or can we all do it? Boom. Nice. Garrett, how was cleaning it? Cleaning it is so much easier than cleaning a grill. Oh, uh, sorry. Someone just traded me. So much easier. I Because, like, you know when you clean, you clean a grill, like, you never really feel like you're, like, actually cleaning it. At least that's how I always felt. And then over time, the grill is just getting, like, dirtier and dirtier. And then eventually you got to do, like, an insane... Deep I'm clean. here. Can I In have the quest, please? Oh, you don't have it? Nada. I just ran straight here. Um, is it this? Yep. Okay. You know, over time, your your grates or whatever they're called, just like they're getting dirtier and dirtier. Dude, the blackstone. Let me let me let me tell you. Let me show you the entire process real quick. We'll wait for this thing to spawn while we do that. Let me show you what a blackstone griddle is. Right. And I'll show you my cleaning process. It takes me literally two to three minutes. And but I, and I enjoy it. it. It feels satisfying. Here's why. Let me show you. Images. Blackstone. Griddle. Let me find a good picture where you'll be able to see everything. So this is what it looks like. Let me find a good image that'll help me walk you through how I clean it. Maybe this one? Uh, no, 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 no. I want just kind of like a top-down view. Ooh, woolly mittens. Maybe, uh, okay. This is probably a good one. This is probably a good one. Let me try to get that exact picture. Yep. Same propane hookup as a grill. I literally just, I literally used the same propane tank that I was using. Let's on my go! grill, and then I just plugged them in there. Thanks for the sub. Yo, triple GGG with the three years, bro. Can oh my it? goodness, you literal Chad. You literal absolute Chad. We gotta, we gotta thank this legend first. Triple GGG with a triple year resub. See what I did there? Come on now. Bro, I wanna say thank you. And of course, Esteban is now gonna bring you up to your very own, not Penguin Porsche, because I've already had one. That's how I play off accidentally hitting the wrong button. But your own Penguin Pizzeria, my dude. I'm telling you, if you need anything, if you want pizza delivered to your room, or if you wanna be able to come have your own exclusive private VIP dining experience, they will reserve the entire Penguin Pizzeria just for you. You go ahead and ring that Penguin Butler Bell. And literally anything you need, they got your back. Bro, sincerely, thank you. Support my family. I appreciate you. You are absolutely incredible. God bless you. All right. Here is what the Blackstone looks like. Here is the, the top of it, okay? You do all your cooking. You do all your stuff. Easy peasy. Then when you're done, you know, there's, there's a scraper that I bought for like 10 bucks. And you see, like, the seasonings and just random stuff. It kind of builds up. You just take a few minutes and you just scrape. Literally within one minute, I've got the whole thing scraped. And it feels satisfying. Like, it just it just feels it just feels good. Like, I just, I just enjoy doing it. And you push everything back here into this greaser. See this little divot? There's a greaser. What I hated with the normal grill, okay, is at least in the grill that I had, maybe your grill's different is that a normal grill, there is kind of that grease catcher, like like underneath, you know, your grates. But like when I'm cooking, the grease is falling through the crates onto the, the burner things, and those are getting super dirty, and then they would fall into the grease catcher. But for me, maybe this is not your problem, but for me, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Or the drip tray, yeah. And I would forget all about it, and I would go multiple, multiple grill uses just like forgetting that it exists and then it would get full i would forget about it and then i would go to grill again but it's already full so now it's it's overflowing to the bottom of my grill and then now when i actually remember now i got a mess and sure i could just do a better job of remembering but if i'm not looking at it i just forget with this thing when i'm cooking first of all those normal grates they're so hard to clean. Sure, you got the thing that you scrape on it. I recommend you using like the plastic ones rather than the metal because then the metals get stuck on the grate and then that can actually get in your food. Very, very bad. Then you can digest it. Very, very bad for you. That's annoying. And you never really feel like it, like the grates are really getting clean. Over time, they get rusty. 
I, I always hated it. And then the grease is falling on the burners and you gotta take those out and clean it. I don't wanna do that, bro. I, I wanna eat my food, okay? <laughs> and then you forget about the drip tray. I hate it. With this, one flat top blackstone, scrape it, very satisfying. Then once I've scraped it, I leave the burners on so it's hot, pour a little bit of water, scrape it again. That whole process takes like two minutes. Then when it's all clean, I apply a little bit of oil, the oil of your choice, like a cast iron skillet. And then I just spread that oil on the top and leave it. It's clean. And then because that hole in the back, that leads to the, the uh, you know, the, the grease catcher, drip tray, whatever, which is not just directly underneath. It's set up in the back. So even if it spills, it's not gonna spill on everything. But because that hole is staring me in the face the whole time I'm cleaning, and I'm pushing everything into it, I, now I always remember to dump it out when I'm done. I never forget because it's staring me in the face and I've been pouring stuff into it. So for me, bro, it's so much easier to clean. My food cooks perfectly evenly. I, I love this thing, bro. I couldn't be a bigger fan. I highly recommend the Blackstone, dude. It is the best thing ever. And you like, you can season it because it's like a cast iron skillet. So you can season the top level, you know, that like the, the, the layer of your, your griddle and that flavoring gets into the food you're cooking. It's like cooking with a cast iron skillet. You can't even do that with a grill. Now I will say with a grill, you know, you can, you do get some of the taste of the smokiness of the actual fire touching your food. You get the grill markings. And so, you know, some people might like that. But for me, Blackstone for life, dude. I'm never going back. Never going back, bro. It's just absolutely biss, bro. Everybody good here? I gotta go yeah, the hill, on you. turn in the quest. We'll be good to go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sold. I am just, I'm sold. I'm a fan. I am sold. Bloodstack, my favorite part is exactly what the picture shows. You can cook a whole meal on one flat top. I cook literally all ingredients on one top. When I'm done with it, I just move the thing over. It stays warm. And then the really cool part is, so for example, right? Hey, let's talk breakfast, okay? I make breakfast, start off with the bacon and the bacon grease, obviously, you know, the, all that flavoring, which, you know, some of you might not want to use because it's not super healthy, but you know, it's your choice. But after I'm done, I just push that bacon aside and then I literally just go make the eggs and the hash browns in the bacon grease because it tastes delicious it's just and all of it's just in, in one I'm, I'm not that's just amazing bro and then the cleanup bro because like all the stuff that you would because it doesn't just replace my grill it has replaced almost all of me cooking in the kitchen and now instead of like oh dinner's over now i gotta clean like five different pans and and now my sink is full Bro, we, like, I haven't used pans in, like, two weeks, bro. I haven't cleaned a pan in weeks. I just, instead of, you know, doing dishes for 30 minutes, now I take two minutes and clean my Blackstone. And I'm done. Done. Oh, bro, it's... I cannot talk highly enough about the Blackstone, bro. Because when I had a grill, all it really did was, like, the stuff that I specifically wanted to grill, right? But now the Blackstone, it's just like a big stovetop, bro. I can, I make everything on it. I haven't used my oven since. Now, of course, you know, if it's freezing outside, you might not want to be cooking outside. If it's raining, if you don't have something to cover you, obviously there is, you know, there's some, there's some cons. But dude, freaking, I love it, dude. Because I hate doing dishes, man. Obviously, we still, you know, we got plates and stuff, but plates, I, I just throw them in the dishwasher. Because I don't know about you, but my pans and everything, we don't put those in the dishwasher. Those are all by hand. So now, dude, I'm not cleaning anything by hand. I take two minutes to clean the Blackstone, and then I uh, throw everything else in the dishwasher. I'm done. All right, I got to focus up here because I got to do this death skip. So climb the mountain. Then walk down past the jagged pattern until your subzone chain is to wetlands. So I'm 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 here, but how do we? Okay, so over here to the right, Pog, and we're following this arrow. Oh. 
Yo, what up, Brahmin? Good to see you on YouTube, brother. How you doing, friend? Now, it wanted me to go... Okay, it wants me to go up here. Oh, dude, I can literally just perfectly follow the arrow. That is legit. I'm perfectly following you because you have the arrow. Following that right there? Bro, this add-on is clutch, dude. And then when the subzone changes to wetlands, I just walk down the, the jagged pattern. That's legit. Low voltage. Come on now. Oh, there we are. Oh, but now it wants me to go. Okay, I think it's freaking out now. But I do. I think we just fall down right here. Am I going to die? Nope. And I'm here to heal us. I'm here to heal us. Nice. I got you. Asmo, I got you, bro. Oh, and then Hoagies, I got you too. Oh, yeah, he's you know a crazy done? himself. I should have brought slow fall. Oh, that actually would have been nice, dude. Now, this is the arrow thing is not working the way it did before. So, I kind of got to figure this one out on our own. We could go over there, but let me, let me look at actually, let me actually look at the wetlands map. Oh, look, there's the ship. Oh, was I supposed to have died? It did say, climb the mountain, then walk down the... Pass the jagged pad onto your webstone. Oh, I think maybe we were supposed to have died. Ah. But how do we just... How do we just die? Uh, can we do the... Oh, thing we to, to jump. Gotcha. Okay. Try to climb up here. And then we'll just try to jump from here. Yeah, try to jump to our right, to our death. Yeah, you go first. Okay, so I'm dead. And if, if all works out, when I res now, I should be in the wetlands. Oh, wow. Nice, we are, dude. And then we'll just, we'll have to revive, obviously, at the ghost. We'll take the durability. It's only two minutes at level 12, though. Hey, hey, hey. let's get it, dude. We'll wait for the ah! kid. I got Ow. you, bro. I got you. What level are they? I'm oh, 21. So we got to be real careful. We got to be real careful, dude. This is spicy territory. Mag's Maybe already we just dead. Swim there. Maybe we just swim. Well, there's also stuff in the water, though. Well, you should res. Yeah. Me. I can't. I'm out. I got a cooldown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Cash Jones, are, are cooking streams strictly to TikTok? Um, still working and figuring that out. I, I did it. My first one was on Twitch, but that one lagged like crazy. And then I did the second one on TikTok, and that was perfectly oh, we fine. We good. There's nothing there. Perfectly fine. But I do think for short IRL streams, TikTok is better for the discoverability. When I did it on Twitch, because they're only like, you know, even with all me talking and taking way longer than it really needs to because I'm hanging out with the ch chat, they're like 20, 25 minutes on the Blackstone. Super easy. And if I do it on Twitch, you know, that short of a stream, notifications on Twitch suck. So like hardly anyone shows up. I went live for 15 minutes on Saturday on TikTok. I had like 44 viewers. Just because of the way the platform is designed and it works. So it, it honestly is probably just more beneficial for me to do them on TikTok. If I had my computer and everything, then I could multi-stream, but I'm not gonna bring my computer set up outside. It would take me longer to set everything up than it would to cook the meals. <laughs> I just wanna plop my phone down, hit go live, and then go for it. What up, Jonathan? Good to see you on TikTok, friend. We are leveling in Season of Discovery right now. All right, where to now? I'm following the arrow. I guess we go on the boat. And apparently, yeah, right now I'm going towards what? Ooh. Okay, so I did there. that. I did that. Nice. Step 50. Okay. Get the, no, no. Get the flight path right here. Nice. 
Talk to Azar upstairs. Oh, then I gotta train my spells too. Cause I'm 12 now. Is he inside this building? Uh, I don't really have anything. It's telling me that it's like really far away. Yeah, 1700 meters away. Shady deal. Oh, well, I do gotta sell some stuff. Sheesh. Gotta sell a lot of stuff. Explore link. First aid trainer. Well, that I'll keep. Scroll of protection. Sell all these things. Stuff of first aid I'll keep. Are you actually doing first aid? Uh, maybe eventually. I didn't mean to sell that mining pick. Can I open these? Nope. Can I sell them? I can. Nice, dude. Sweet. Now, but yeah, wants me to talk to uh, hmm, some peoples, man. Bump, 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 bump. Is there a class trainer here? No, there's a first aid trainer. Talk to Azar. Strong hammer, but he might not be in this building. Step 57? Where is step 57? Or oh, is it is it an iron forge? No, it's not an iron forge. Chat, let me know if you see a step 57. We better hmm. not just have thrown ourselves off a mountain for no reason. It told me to come here. Well, we can fly to Iron Forge from here. <laughs> oh. That was painful. Do we take the boat? That's a good question. No, we're we're too low level to take that boat. I would think. Yeah, no, that's not it. Um. No, what's the level for Darkshire? Darkshire is ten twenty. All the way across. Yeah, Darkshore. Oh, there I is a think... boat to Darkshore. Yeah, that's You're right. Weird. That's not where 57 is. Hmm. What up, Novo? Banana man at your service? Yeah, where is step... Dude, I don't know where 57 is. Oh, is that it? The exclamation point is covering it. Okay, it wants us to fly back to Karanos. <laughs> DCA performance with a sub on YouTube. I appreciate you, friend. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know in chat. Do you play with Warcraft? If so... What class they play would love to connect. And of course, in the description below YouTube, you can join our Unity Gaming Discord. Our community is on a mission to bring an end to toxicity and loneliness in the gaming community. If you're tired of playing WoW or other games alone, come be a part. We'd love to have you. Appreciate it being here, friend. So we can go back to Ironforge. We need to go back to Karados. That is the, the actual objective. I think it wanted us to come here to, to get the, uh, the flight path. Yeah, let's go to Ironforge. Let's do it, let's do it, let's yeah, do it. I actually have a, have a couple of quests in Iron Forge as well that I can turn it. Oh, sweet. Cool. And I have some runes there, too. All right, the 30 oh, minutes of banana is actually... Uh, wow. I think I was actually a little more generous. Give you guys a little more time with the banana. Thanks for using those channel points. I appreciate you. S tier. Ooh. And Luna is just... She's just vibing, dude. Look at her. She's vibing. All right, I'm going to leave you to look at Luna and with uh, Magnificor for, uh, actually, only only, only Magnificor. I'm going to BRB for just for a second. I'll be back in a few minutes. We return. See the Discovery level. Let's go.
when I'm on, I'm on drugs, I, uh, something else just happens. So I broke the rules. Don't judge me. I love you. I just got out. I'm not supposed to shoot video. All things considered, this next clip makes a lot of sense. They weren't kidding when they said it was an amazing weekend. I decided to wear something a little, uh, little extra today. Little extra today. So basically what this is, friends, this is just a, uh, I just took a picture of myself shirtless. And then I just made it into a shirt, you know what I mean? But this is, this is all me, baby. Why are his nipples in his arms? It's good nipping. Oh, that says napping. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. My wife is looking at me and laughing. Come on now. Come on now. You love to see it. What's that? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> she, she's making fun. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Making fun of me. You're making fun of me. You like the way I look, baby? <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. Come on now. And somewhere in a universe far, far from here. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Nipples in the armpit, dude! Those of you wondering, yes, I've been playing with AI.
I think I figured out why the boat sank. Rainbow Six Siege, a game built on strategy and tactics. Susie Live, a man who has other strengths. Other viewers? Bro, show me your face. Oh, my teammate! Either move that chat. Excuse me, game? Did you see this? Bro, I clicked on the face, bruh. What? What? Bro, how many? How, bro, are you kidding me, bro? What's happening, dude? Dude took a freaking white out to my screen. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Blind, 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 bro. My, Jedi, you seen that? Okay, fan, it's not all of them are that bad. My bear trap. Chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me! <laughs> BT stress, how goes to life, my friend? Like, how, how's, uh, how's ministry, I meant to say? Oh, 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 oh. Hopefully your ministry is doing better than that guy's face. <laughs> you love to see it. Here it is, chat. Oh, I'm insane! Guys, I just, I knew. I, I, I knew. I, I just, I knew. I knew. Don't tell me I didn't know, because I knew. I knew, dude. I think he knew. <laughs> Guys, my game sense is on another level. 
guess I'll watch a. Clean! Oh, baby! You love to see it! Come on! You My leg! You love to see it! Oh, just, it's so satisfying, dude. Oh, crap. Thank God the terrorists sent the blind team. Oh, get out of my! And we're back. And everywhere. Thanks for holding down the uh holding down the fort, bro. Your uh, your internet is not having a good day, I'm gonna be oh. honest. Wait, what's it doing? It's crying for mercy, I'm pretty sure. It's crying for mercy. Ah. Is it freaking out, dude? Yeah. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But we back, baby. We back, we back. Alright, let's keep level. Let's keep level. All right, so now it wants me to, uh, I might actually go check out this rune. What am I going to do here? A full okay, shipment? Uh, oh, weird, no. Did I 
sell the things that I was going to need for that full shipment? I hope not, bro. Dude, that would be a feels bad, man. I also got a quest that I got to turn in. I think I actually just go over here and then walk straight down there. We'll see, man. Ciao, what you love? What's up, Babs? Good to see you, friend. What's up, everybody? How's your day going? Dun, 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 dun. From this big old throne. I do I do love interacting with the world in in classic. Cause it, Azeroth really in classic just feels like a main character. It feels relevant, feels important. And I do I do miss that a lot. We definitely lose some of that in retail. But then the Mythic Plus and Raids and Retail are just freaking amazing, bro. They're so good, dude. They're so good. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go, let's go. Put my fish away in RuneScape. Fish and Sharks. Right back at it. All right, so here, okay, the rune is like right there. Is that in the bank or? Okay, I'm not tripping. Uh, your audio and your like video are like 10 seconds behind one another. No shot. Let me refresh and listen. All right, so here, okay, the rune is like right there. Is that in the bank or? Okay, I'm check, not check. tripping. Check, 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 one, two. Uh, your audio and your, like, video are, like, ten seconds there. That's check, check, one, two. And my stream is so delayed. Yeah. Can you really? hear a little crackling noise as well? Yeah, I did hear that. Not just me. Oh, okay. Well, I am streaming on 97 platforms right now, so I may need to experiment with not streaming on as many so i was playing i thought it was just the clip but i was playing a clip and like the audio was messed up let me uh let me try I it was something, something i did here um i'm gonna try i think at first and my stream is so delicious yeah, that's super delayed. I'm gonna try a, hey, but TikTok is perfect. What up, fake? Good to see you, man. Yeah, TikTok, I don't plan on taking down. TikTok is too good for views. Yeah, that's strange. I think I'm gonna try, guys, taking down Kick and YouTube long form. And okay, then I'll refreshed leave. And I'm gonna refresh again, and the audio has synced back.